So I use my iPhone as a nightstand clock at night and an information board at my desk during the day. This clever iPhone feature known as standby mode has been out for over a year and only recently have I messed around with it long enough to figure out all the things it can do. And some of them are really useful. In this short video, I'll show you how you can get the most out of the iPhone's fancy standby mode. Stick around. Hi, my name is Rich, and my guess is if you have an iPhone running iOS 17 or later, then you already know at least a little bit about standby mode. But I also suspect this video will contain a thing or two you might not know. For me, standby mode is one of the most practical features of the iPhone. I actually use it as an interactive status board during the day and a clock at night. And it's even better if you have an always-on display. Okay, today I'm going to cover how to turn on standby mode in settings, because you have to do that first. And then the three types of information standby mode displays, which is widgets, photos, and clocks. And then how to swipe to get to each one. And then lastly, how to customize those widgets, photos, and clocks. And by the way, standby mode works when connected to power. If you're not connected to power, you won't see standby mode. For this video, I'm using an ESR Qi 2 charging stand. It's pretty cool, and I'll include a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. It's a great stand. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you have to do is just make sure that the iPhone standby mode is turned on in settings. So we'll go to settings. We'll go to standby mode right here. And then you'll make sure it's turned on. If it's turned off, you'll never see it. If you flip that little switch, you will see it. You can also turn on night mode. That means if you have your phone in standby mode and it's night and you have a clock on, it'll dim the clock. It turns it kind of red so it's not very bright in the room. You can also have notifications that will pop up on the phone even if it's in standby mode if you turn that on. That's up to you. I turn it off because I don't want notifications. I get notified about everything all the time and so I don't want that popping up. But that's how you turn it on in settings. So you got to make sure it's turned on. Again, you got to make sure that it's connected to power. If you don't have a stand like this, a MagSafe charging stand, you can plug power into the bottom of your phone, either with a lightning connector or a USB-C, and then turn your phone and you can use it in standby mode. Now to get to standby mode, you have to first turn the phone and make sure that it's horizontal like that. And then the phone has to be off. It can't be on like it is here. So you click that button and then it's horizontal. It'll come into standby mode like that in a few seconds. And that's how you get it going. So now it's on your stand and you have it in standby mode. Pretty simple. Next thing I want to talk to you about is just the three things you can see on the iPhone when it's in standby mode. And the first is widgets. So you have widgets here that you can scroll through like that. You have photos. And here they're locked, so I'll unlock them. And you can go through different photos. And then when you slide again, you have clocks. And you have different clocks that you can go through that way. So you're sliding left and right to get to widgets, photos, and clocks. Just like that. And those are the three things that you can see in standby mode. And it's up to you to choose which one you want to take a look at. But those are the three things that you can see in standby mode. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to edit widgets, photos, and clocks. And we'll start with widgets. So I've got some widgets set up here. Uh, and you can just kind of scroll through those widgets like this. And it's kind of on a, a rotating thing. And you can just scroll back and forth like that and get what you're looking for. But if you want to edit those, you can tap and edit. And it takes you here. So I'm editing the widget on the left hand side. And you can get rid of widgets here if you don't want them there. Or you can add widgets. We'll get rid of, say, the battery widget. I'll take that off. And then we'll go and we'll add a widget. Maybe we'll add um, a news widget. And here we'll just add that widget. And then you tap done over here. And you're done. And now you've got the news widget that's there. 
And you can do the same thing on this side. If you want to edit these widgets, you can just tap and hold. And you can add a widget. We'll add a widget over here. We'll add back the batteries widget. And now if you'll notice, I've got Smart Rotate right here. If you want it to just automatically rotate between the widgets, you can leave that on. If you want to just have it to stay on a particular widget, you can turn Smart Rotate off. You can also put on widget suggestions, and Siri will just put up other widgets there that you might not have thought about. I'm going to click Done. And now we've got the battery widget over here. So we've got the clock and the battery and the reminders. And this is how I use it during the day. I'll have it on here, and I may have... Uh, this is a lock launcher widget, which allows me to check into any one of those apps. But I'll usually have it on the clock and my reminders, or maybe the calendar and my reminders over here. And that's what I use during the day as sort of a little status board. But that's how you edit widgets. Now when you go to the photos, you can edit those as well. And again, to edit it, you simply tap and hold. And now if you'll notice... I've got various albums in here. And if you don't want to see a particular album, for example, here's Nature. If I click Done, you'll see Nature album and all the photos that I have in a Nature album. But if I tap and hold and I don't want to see that, I can just tap the little eye right there and it hides it. Now you can't delete it or get rid of it like you can a widget, but you can hide it. And so now if I click Done and we go back in here, you'll notice that there's no Nature album in here. Now, one thing you might notice also is that when I was in the widgets, you could just sort of scroll and rotate through them. But when you're in Photos, you can't do that. So you have a top album, and if you'll notice, I'm scrolling down, scrolling, and then I get to the bottom, and I can't scroll anymore. It won't go back. So you can only go top to bottom. It'd be great if you could just scroll in one direction and get to all of your photos, but you can't. Now, if you want to add photos to it, you can tap and hold. You can hit the plus. You can choose an album that you have, and now it will join in here. And so now you've got a new album. And by the way, if you have an album in your Photos uh, app, all of the photos in that album will now show up here. So it's not going to scroll between, say, Desk Views and uh, Justin. It's going to show all the pictures I have in the album of Scout, all the pictures I have in the album of Justin. And so that's how you uh, view and edit photos in standby mode. If you swipe over to Clocks, again, you can scroll up and down to get to your clocks. And the swiping thing is kind of important, you know. Again, it's left and right to get from widgets to photos to clocks, and it's up and down to change things. Now, if you want to edit a clock, again, just like everything uh, else, you tap and hold, and now you've got a little circle here where you can edit it, and if you tap on that, you can change color. So there's not a lot you can do here. Maybe I'll change it to that, and it'll you can see it changes the second hand and the date to a different color, and then you can tap on the X. And now you've got a slightly different look to it. If you don't like this color here, you can tap and hold, tap on the little circle and go over to the colors, and maybe we'll make it that color. And now you have a slightly different color there too. Again, if you notice, you cannot add clocks or delete clocks. You just have them in here. You've got about, what, four, one, two, three, four. You've got five different clocks that are in here. And there's not a lot of editing you can do. In fact, um, if you tap and hold on this one, you can't even edit it. There's nothing you can do. But if you swipe here and you tap and hold, you can edit the color of that one and you can change it like that. And now you've got a clock that looks like that. But that is how you edit widgets, photos, and the clocks. Pretty simple.
Yes, I really do enjoy the iPhone standby mode, and as you can see, it's not that hard to set up or use. In fact, it's pretty easy. Okay, that's it for today's short tutorial. I hope you learned a few things that was worth your time. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.